Welcome back. It's Thursday. Uh, starting the uh, running towards the weekend now. A um, few little bits and pieces to do. Uh, no major jobs, but I always find something that uh, that will keep me busy. Uh, just need to get some setting up done. Uh, there is another picture that I need to put up on the wall. Um, need to do the usual checks in the cellar. Um, and start the run into the weekend. It was the uh, England-Netherlands game last night, uh, which appears to have been very well supported in here. We had a very good Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday is sort of traditionally, uh, certainly here, the, the quietest night of the week. So that was a nice little boost. So uh, thank you if you uh, came up here to watch the football last night. Uh, right, kettle's on. I'm going to uh, crack on. Last little bit of uh, DIY for the week, uh, these little jobs that seem to have taken me all week uh, to get done. Uh, I've got a new frame to go up on the wall, on the wall on the Crossley's uh, Wall of Fame. Um, it's an article that appeared in the Crossleyan magazine, uh, the annual magazine for the uh, All Crossleyan Society uh, in 2022. Um, just giving a little bit of a history about myself and David's um, purchase of the pub and our background with the school. So that is going to uh, complete this wall. I'm going to remove that uh, Marston's picture so that we're all uh, consistent with the uh, increasing Crossleys themed uh, wall of fame. That last picture has gone up uh, a lot easier than I was expecting. In fact, doing this whole wall uh, has been a lot easier than it was doing um, this one a couple of years ago. Maybe I was using the wrong drill bits, maybe I was using the, the drill bits in the uh, toolkit I inherited rather than the masonry ones. Uh, but they're all up, um, I'm pleased with that. So the Crossley's Wall of Fame is growing. Uh, if there are any, if there are any uh, Old Crossleyans that have got photos that they'd like to uh, contribute to the gallery, then by all means get in touch, either pop into the pub or drop me an email. Uh, we'll always take um, contributions uh, for the wall. Um, right, next job is to have a quick check of the cellar. Uh, we've got some deliveries coming today and I know at least one of the beers ran off last night, so I'll have a quick check down there make sure that we're all okay for uh, opening at four o'clock. We're all good down here. Uh, Lee's um, obviously given it a once over yesterday uh, and got things tapped and vented and lined up. Uh, we've got a couple of empties just to move into the back and we are expecting a delivery uh, from Old Mill at some point, so that will fill that gap there. Uh, so the cellar's all good, um, heading into Thursday night. We're not blessed with too much space, as I'm sure you've seen. So it's important to keep things as tidy as possible. Just bang my head. We're all okay in there. Gas is looking okay. Um, we do need to get rid of some of these empties in the next week or so but we have got room to move uh, and we're all set for uh, oh, all set for tonight I think I might pop up to uh, the cash and carry um, while I've got time the most popular of the San Pellegrinos is the uh, blood orange flavour. That's the one that we sell by far the most of. 
but bizarrely that's not available through our regular uh, our regular wholesaler so supplies of that do need to be uh, collected from the cash and carry uh, and we're getting quite low on the Erdinger Blue uh, I did forget to put that on the uh, the list always sold more than uh, I was expecting at the beginning of the week so I might pick up a bit more of that um, okay we're all good in here I've got some more bar towels um, to take home just going to finish off setting the bar up I need to put the drip trays out so that uh, it's one less thing to do um, at opening time and we are expecting a wine delivery tomorrow uh, I know we still do have one or two boxes uh, of some of those wines but that will be um, that will be filled up tomorrow uh, ice uh, still quite a lot in there it'll easily get us through the weekend uh, but I do like to keep it uh, topped up if, uh, if I'm passing the supermarket so uh, I'll get some ice tomorrow because uh, we do get staff treats on a Friday um, so some sweet treats um, so I'll pick up uh, some ice tomorrow there are always jobs to do there's always faffing that can be done um, but I think at the minute once I've set that bar up uh, I've put um, a new post on the Real Ale Finder app uh, to advertise our beer board. Uh, we're opening today with Phoenix Hopsack, Kirkstall Black Band, that just went on yesterday, uh, the Southern Cross Pictish and Wednesdale Main Man. And at the moment, instead of the old mill bitter, we've got the uh, uh, Goose Eye Bitter. Um, very nice traditional session strength bitter. Uh, but we are due an old mill delivery today. Um, so I think we're all there. I think everything is all under control. So, um, right, I'm going to tidy up, uh, put these trays out, uh, and then head to the cash and carry. Cash and carry done. I uh, just need to unload that from the car. Uh, I just got a little bit distracted because uh, I was just uh, almost here when I got a phone call from a lovely chap called James who has been doing some work for us. Uh, he has been refurbishing and sorting out this uh, bank of um, hand pumps. Uh, we have had numerous difficulties over the last year or so uh, with various bits of um, the pumps that we do have uh, failing in, in one way or another. Uh, so all four of those I think have had attention now um, in the last 18 months so they should be good uh, and if uh, we do have any more problems instead of having a pump out of action and calling out for James to come and fix it we can just swap onto uh, a new bank um, the problem that we have is because it's a bank of four because we are short of space uh, if a pump fails for any reason that beer that line is out of action um, whereas if we had individual pumps we might be able to do a like for like swap but the problem we have like in so many aspects uh, here is space and we just don't have enough space uh, to have four individual pumps that we could just sort of swap individually um, but that's good so that's another big uh, repair bill coming uh, but at least uh, we've got what I think is now a refurbished set on the bar and a fully almost brand spanking new set uh, in reserve. So I'll get those upstairs uh, out of the way, uh, keep them in the bubble wrap for some uh, extra protection, uh, but they're looking good. Brass and everything is, uh, is looking fantastic. Uh, right, I will uh, get the stuff out of the car um, and then see where we are ahead of opening. That bank of uh, pumps safely in storage upstairs. Uh, I was here earlier, so I know things are pretty much as they should be. Oh, that light bulb could do with a change. It's looking a bit gloomy um, behind the bar. Uh, we've got Holly guesting at 
uh, four o'clock. So I'll put those uh, keg um, attachments on. Everything seems to be all set up. Uh, I was planning on being behind the bar um, this tea time, um, but something has come up. Uh, Holly was already covering it, so uh, I didn't need to be here, but I would have liked to have been. It's a bit of a, I do like to be here on Thursday tea time if I'm around. Uh, but something unavoidable has cropped up, uh, but I will be here tomorrow and I'm definitely here on Saturday. Uh, as actually, I'm actually covering Stephen's shift on the Saturday from five, although I've been before then. Um, and we've got a big, this big party on Saturday, so I want to make sure that uh, everything's all set up and uh, we're ready to deal with that. So quite a short one today, Thursday. Uh, as we're sort of getting ready going into the weekend, uh, a lot of the big jobs for the week have been done. So once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the pub if you have been in over the last few days. Uh, and I will see you uh, for uh, the next video tomorrow, Friday. <laughs>